Hello everyone, and welcome to the weird, scary, and horrible parts of humanity. Today, we are looking into a member of a royal family who committed murder. Faisal bin Musayyad al Sayyid, who murdered his uncle, King Faisal bin Abdulaziz al Sayyid of Saudi Arabia. Faisal bin Musad bin Abdulaziz bin Abdul Rahman al Sayyid was born on the 4th of April 1944 and a member of the Saudi Arabian royal family as one of five children. His uncle Abdulaziz ibn Abdul Rahman ibn Faisal ibn Turki ibn Abdullah ibn Muhammad al Sayyid, known in the West as Ibn Sayyid, was founder of and commander of the unification of Saudi Arabia under the Third Saudi State in 1934, which saw the unification into what is today the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Prior to this, Ibn Sayyid was the leader of the Kingdom of Hejaz Nejed. Ibn Sayyid died as a result of a heart attack in his sleep on the 9th of November 1953 in Taif, Saudi Arabia. He was succeeded by his brother and again Faisal's uncle, Sayyid bin Abdulaziz al Sayyid, who was the king of Saudi Arabia from the 9th of November 1953 until the 2nd of November 1964. Following the death of al Sayyid, he was succeeded by Faisal's uncle. Faisal bin Abdulaziz al Sayyid on the 2nd of November 1964. Faisal bin Abdulaziz al Sayyid made numerous modernization efforts in Saudi Arabia, including television broadcasts commencing in Saudi Arabia in 1965, and successfully overseeing the abolishment of slavery in Saudi Arabia as Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia in 1962. Faisal bin Abdulaziz al Sayyid also fostered a strong relationship with the United States of America as an anti communist. However, during the 1973 Arab Israeli War, also known as the Yom Kippur War between the 6th of October and 25th of October 1973, Faisal supported Egypt and Saudi Arabia in their fight against Israel and withdrew Saudi oil from world markets in protest over the United States of America supporting Israel during the conflict. Ten other Arab countries also withdrew their oil from world markets following Saudi Arabia. This led to the 1973 oil crisis and led to Faisal bin Abdulaziz gaining increased support amongst Arabs and Muslims around the world. In 1974, he was named Time Magazine's Man of the Year. However, Faisal bin Musayyad al Sayyid's family were strongly against his modernization attempts in Saudi Arabia, most notably his brother Faisal bin Khalid. Khalid was a Wahhabist, an ultra-conservative far-right and fundamentalist Islamic reform doctrine and religious movement founded by Muhabad ibn Abd al-Wahhab. Wahhabi clerics opposed the establishment of a national television service in Saudi Arabia, believing it immoral to produce images of humans. In 1966, Faisal bin Khalid launched an assault on a new television station in Riyadh, which led to his death. In the same year, Faisal bin Musayyad al Sayyid arrived in the United States of America and attended San Francisco State College for two semesters where he studied English. While in the United States of America, he was given a monthly allowance of $3,500 per month by his uncle. He then went to the University of California at Berkeley and then... The University of Colorado at Boulder. He was described by other students as quiet, liable, and not a very studious individual, maintaining a D and C grade average. In 1971, Faisal bin Musayyid obtained a bachelor's degree in political science from the University of Colorado at Boulder and returned to San Francisco. While in the United States of America, he began dating American Christine Surma, a Los Angeles native who was five years Faisal bin Musayyid's junior. 
The pair began dating upon Faisal bin Musayyad's arrival in 1966 and were together for a period of time. Surma viewed the Saudi interest in achieving peace with Israel as a positive outcome. Faisal bin Musayyad al Sayyid enrolled in graduate courses in political science at the University of California at Berkeley but did not receive a master's degree. However, while in the United States of America, Faisal bin Musayyad al Sayyid was in significant trouble with law enforcement to the embarrassment of his family back in Saudi Arabia. In 1969, he was arrested for conspiring to sell LSD. Pleading guilty, he was placed on probation for a year before, in May 1970, the district attorney dropped the charges. After leaving the United States of America, he travelled to Beirut, Lebanon and East Germany, and returned to Saudi Arabia in 1975. He remained in contact with Surma and maintained a strong relationship with her upon his return to Saudi Arabia. As soon as he returned, his passport was confiscated by Saudi authorities because of his drug charges in the United States of America. He then began teaching English at Riyadh University, which was later renamed King Sayyid University in 1982. On the 25th of March 1975, his uncle Faisal bin Abdulaziz al Sayyid was holding a Majili, a council or meeting with a Kuwaiti delegation and other individuals at the Royal Palace in Riyadh. Faisal bin Musayyad al Sayyid joined a Kuwaiti delegation and lined up to meet his uncle, who recognized his nephew and bent his head forward so that Faisal could kiss his head as a sign of respect. Faisal bin Musayyad al Sayyid took out a revolver from his robe and shot his uncle Faisal bin Abdulaziz al Sayyid twice in the head, with his third shot missing him. Faisal bin Abdulaziz al Sayyid was rushed to a hospital, but was unable to be saved. Faisal bin Musayyad al Sayyid was immediately arrested. Saudi television crews captured the assassination of Saudi Arabia's king on camera. Moved to a prison in Riyadh, Faisal bin Musayyad al Sayyid was judged to be sane. A Sharia court found him guilty of his uncle's murder on the 18th of June 1975 and sentenced him to death. Cars with loudspeakers drove around Riyadh announcing the verdict and crowds of 10,000 people gathered in the public Dira Square to watch the execution of their prince at 4.30pm on the 18th of June 1975. Faisal bin Musayyad al Sayyid was executed in public, beheaded with a single sweep of a gold handled sword. Following his execution, the crowd shouted, God is great and justice is done. His brother Faisal bin Bandar al Sayyid was imprisoned for one year. However, what led Faisal bin Musayyad al Sayyid to murder his uncle? Well, there are quite a few theories. It was alleged that it was revenge for the death of Faisal bin Khalid in 1966. Lebanese newspaper An Nahar alleged that the murder was as a result of Faisal bin Musayyad's drug abuse, his unhappiness at his $3,500 monthly allowance, as well as his unhappiness at being unable to leave Saudi Arabia. Other Arab media sources claimed that Faisal bin Musayyad was a tool of the CIA and Israel's Mossad, with Faisal bin Abdulaziz not supporting Israel and the United States of America during the 1973 Arab-Israeli War. Other media outlets claimed that it was mental illness without specifying a diagnosis or reason. However, the exact reason will never be known. Faisal bin Abdulaziz al Sayyid was buried in Al Aoud Cemetery in Rihad. The exact area where Faisal bin Musayyad al Sayyid was buried and what happened to his beheaded corpse is unknown. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.